So guys, I went to the store and I saw that they had the brand new Pokemon Tag Team Tins out, the brand new design that's just been released for 2019. And I saw there was three there. Now instead of doing three separate videos, I thought, you know what? You guys deserve the best quality videos on the absolute planet. So let's unbox all three. Dude, I know that sounds crazy, but this is actually like a huge deal. These tins right here, Pokemon's like, you know what? The old tins were great, they were fantastic, but we want to change it up completely. So what they've done, they've got the ninja gloves on and got And they've sliced off the sides of a square and called it a brand new tin. That's, that's honestly just what's happened right here. We've got an embossed Zekrom and Pikachu as well, which looks so epic. I love the embossed, what they're doing here. Logo's all embossed as well. And the promo card. The promo cards look so good. They're the special artwork of uh, each tag team card. And it, oh, it looks amazing. I'm an absolute massive fan. As we're swinging around, pretty generic stuff. It's got the other tins right here. A team of Pokemon GX working together. As the catchphrase, we've got the magical barcode itself, which you guys get way too attracted to. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much each tin right there. Each of them have their own like color scheme. So we've got gold and black for Zekrom Pikachu. By the way, wearing my uh, Pikachu merch today. So hopefully that gives us somewhat better balls. Then we've also got Snorlax and Eevee. Oh, this is this may be a personal favorite. Just because this promo card is so hand-drawn, it looks incredible. So a bit of like a dark green and silver sort of color scheme here. Now, is this a fan favorite? Do you guys really like this because Eevee's on it? Let me know. And then last but not least is none other than the Celebi and Venusaur. A lot of people love this tent, and I think a lot of people wanted to get this because this was nearly sold out in the shops. So, let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. Um, oh, that, look at that promo card though, it looks so cool. Man, these are something I really want to unbox, but let's get the seal of approval off all these and uh, we'll crack them open. Alright, so I managed to get a little plastic off, and here we go, I'm about to unbox my first ever 2019 Pokemon card tin. Now, I don't know, I've never seen any unboxing, haven't seen any posts about it, I just sort of, uh, just read the announcement when they announced it. Oh, this lid is incredible. Oh! No way, you get a metal GX thing, like the tab we got at the back. This one looks even cooler. Alright, so we've got my promo card, oh, got my promo card right there, so I'm gonna get that out. But look at this! It's a full metal tab, that's like full blown, listen to this. No wonder they charge an extra $5 for these tins. They've got to produce a solid bit of metal. Alright, and then we also get the boost packs. What do we get, what do we get? Team up, team up, forbidden light. Yes! Evolutions as well, this is a sick range. Forbidden light uh, is the only like meh one, but I don't even care. I will happily open a forbidden light. This is this is good. This is absolutely quality. The promo cards, the hand drawn artwork that I love, um, and then you get a full blown metal tab, and four really good boosters, and the tin looks sick. Now let's see if they're all like that. So we've got the Snorlax one. Yeah, dude, I think they are. Let's get the uh, promo card. Oh, let's get the promo card out without destroying it. It's always such a tough issue. Oh. All right, I think we did it. So, yeah, again, two team ups for Bin Light and Evolutions. Put that to the side, get my metal tab out, and then last but not least, we'll get our uh, Venusaur one right here, pop the lid off, and uh, it's exactly the same sort of stuff. All right, let's get these uh, boost backs out. Team up, team up for Bin Light and Evolutions. And we get the little metal tab. Now I've got three of these team up GX uh, metal tabs. I don't know what to do with them. Oh, yummy, 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 yummy. Let's put the uh, GX tag team metal tab right there. It can absorb into these boosters and hope. Oh, what the heck? These are. That's textured! What the. F no way. What the heck? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What in Marvin's universe? I think. They're all textured! What the heck? This is amazing! This is, oh my gosh guys, they have the full like, texture on these promos. Am I, I'm so sorry, no, no, no one probably cares about that except me. These are so high, guys, they have a full art texture on the promos. Literally throw away, throw away any of these that you pulled in team up. 
because this these alternate artwork cards are like a texture filled um full art as well oh no way this literally just went from being in my ex promo binder to my full art ultra rare binder oh okay i see what you're doing pokemon guys for 25 dollars no arguments go buy this tin Full metal tab, code card, four of the latest boosters, full art textured promo that you get right here. You can't argue, that is absolutely fantastic. So, I, I can't I can't reinstate how high quality these promos are, guys. This is insane. Celebi and Venusaur GX. Let's put you at the back right there. Then Eevee and Snorlax. Hopefully you just didn't eat one Eevee right there. That's just definitely not an Eevee in his mouth. Let's look past that. Gee whiz, that's horrifying. Um, I think it's just like chicken shazlix or something. Then we've got a Pikachu and Zekrom. And I love that the tins are based after this as well. I can't get over that they're textured though, guys. What the heck? This is amazing. Put those at the back. That is dead set. The highest quality promo I've ever seen come in a tin, I think, ever. All right. So we've started off with a bang. These tins are worth the money. I think they're 25 in the US, so they'll probably be like 30, 35 here in Australia. Oh, what the flip? They're treating us to a white and green coat <laughs> off the start. I'm getting, I'm legit, I'm getting emotional about these things. Pokemon Communication, Charmander, Mankey, we got a Litlin, a Molga, Kakuna Reverse. Oh, what the, what the, what are we opening? If you have not liked the video, demolish the like button right now. Um, I've, I've bought three tins, and I've literally gone three full-up promos. m 4 GX on the very first booster. No worries, let's keep going. Let's... Oh my goodness. This... What the flip? Maybe this Pikachu hoodie that I'm wearing. It's, uh... It's just inspiring all the amazing pulls. There's the code card for you guys. Fourth in the back. Oh, let's, let's take a deep, deep breath, guys. Toricat, Brock's Grit, Grimer, Ponita, Cosmog, with a Voltorb, a Squirtle, Reverse Squirtle, hashtag Illuminati confirmed, regular rare Pidgeot. That's all good in the hood. All right, now for the Forbidden Light. Let's see what's inside of the set. I've uh, kind of forgotten what they chucked in and what they included. It's a Sun and Moon, so it's about four from the back. Got a Water-type Energy, Magneton, Klefki as well. A Frofer, Skiddo, Gumi, Fennekin, we're gonna spill and then a regular rare Lycan Rock. I'm okay with this because this means that that tin came with one GX. There is a potential for, dare I say, an Evolutions base set Charizard Hollow. That would be nuts. That would be insane. Can we summon the goods? This metal tab's gonna be the goods. Yummity, 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 ya. All right. Crack that one open. There's the code card for you guys. Three from the oh, three from the back. And let's go. Professor Oak's hint. Metapod. Switch. Fire type energy. Voltorb. God, I love the base set reprint set. Oh, it's absolutely awesome. Reverse fairy type. And then. <coughs> regular red B drill. May hype myself up a bit too much. I was getting really excited there. That's alright. Okay. On to the second tin right now. So we start off with our two team up boosters. Um, what's the best pull you could probably get out of a team up booster in a tin? I want I was gonna say the alternate artwork, but seeing as you get it as a promo, maybe a maybe a rainbow rare? Is that even possible? That would be pretty fun. Voltorb, Weedle, Vold B, Bronze or Reverse, and then a Mimikyu regular rare. Okay, so first tin we managed to get one GX. Um I'd say I'd say that's probably the minimum. I can't imagine a tin getting... Oh, look at this. See, that's what I mean. White and green code. I can't imagine a tin getting any worse than just having one GX. I mean, it has happened to me, but I think it, as a bar, that's probably about average. Nidoran, Mareep, Ferroseed, Voltorb, Reverse. Oh, dare I say it? Hollow, a Voltorb. All right. Two boost packs left. Forbidden Light or the Evolutions. Which one's going to have an absolute crazy pull? I know something's coming up. I can smell it. Can you guys... Nope, you've just got a blocked nose. Well, hopefully you get better soon. Alright, swing you round. There's the code card. Only take one code at a time. That way a bunch of people can get it. Swing you... Oh, here we go. You know it's going to be spicy. Unlisted Leaf at the start. Then we've got Skiddo, Noibat, 
Fennekin, a Rockroth, Binnacle Reverse, and then, oh, his Evolution as the next card. That's always really trippy. Alright, last booster pack of the second tin. So far in this tin, it's just been this Hollow of Eltal, <coughs> which we'll put at the back. And let's crack open these evolutions. Pardon the cough as well, by the way. I'm literally just getting over a cold, I think. We've got three from the back since the X and Y set. Swing around. We've got a Pokedex, Potion, Magma, Doduo, Pikachu, Machop, Growlithe, Onyx, Nidorino Reverse, and a regular rare. Okay, I literally spoke way too soon. Our best pull was a holo card. <laughs> oh no! That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. Let's finish strong. We bought all three. I bought literally all three in the store. So if they come together, surely one of them is going to have insane pulls. One had one GX. One had one holo. What's the final one going to have? Interesting that we've started off here with the evolutions. We're going to work our way backwards. Break open the door of that pack. Swing around. Come on, Charizard. Would make my whole life if I could pull a Charizard on video right now. Charmeleon. Caterpie, Doduo, Pikachu, it's already a pretty good pull. Star you reverse and then, oh, I, <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was red for some reason. Earthquake with 130. Alright, Forbidden Light. Can we get that Ultra Necrozma? I don't know, I, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to jinx it like I did last time. Four from the back, then we're literally halfway through. We've got a Judge, We've got a Frofer again, Gumi, PewDiePie. Pancham, Hone Edge Reverse, Regular Schmear, Heat Ran Rare. Okay, alright, we are <laughs> two boosters left. You know what? Seeing as these started incredible, if I'm thinking about it right now, we pulled one Hollow and one GX. We, there's no way we can end it like that. Otherwise, these are officially the poopiest things I've ever seen. Four from the back. It was a white and green coat as well. Come on, let it be better than a holo card for the boys. Bring it home. We've got Arceus watching above. Magikarp, Flappy, Reverse, and another GX. This literally, this is so interesting as to what the final boost is going to contain now. Kabali on GX, right? I don't believe the next one will have anything. If that's the case, in every single tin, because they give you such a delicious, I feel like that's a really way of describing it, but they give you such a beautiful promo full art, they're like, up, 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 up. We're only going to give you one booster with something inside of it. So it's all down to this one if that's the case. If this one has a regular rare, then yeah, there's only one booster with the goods inside of it. Oh, no. That was a solid green. Let's go. Metal type energy, Judge Whistle. Got a Persian, a Pidgey, Magikarp, Execute, Pidgeot Reverse, and then none other than a Primate regular rare. Oh, this puts me in such a tough position. Do you recommend the tins or not? Well, let's have a recap. Okay, so pretty much if we look back on all the cards we managed to pull out of all of those boosters, which is 12 boost packs, we got one Hollow of Eltal, one Ampharos GX, and one Kabolion GX as well. And that's it. Three out of 12 boosters, that means nine boost packs had regular rares. It's not great. It's not great. I always want to be positive here on this leaf. I never want to give a bad review, but like, oh, the only tipping point that makes me think you got to go get it right now is what I said before. The the delicious, miraculous, beautiful textured alternate art promos you get right here. Worth the money just for those cards. Maybe you get the metal tab. I mean, hey, maybe I just got a bunch of a three lot of bunch of dud tins. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. Have you guys opened it and what sort of pulls did you get? I need everyone to let me know. Send me a few tweets. I want to find out if these are good or not. Um, because I'm just not sure. I'm really in the middle right now. Let me know if what you guys think. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below. Demolish the like button if you loved the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. But guys, i got another Pokemon card opening coming out tomorrow. Most of all, I'm going to keep on gaming. Alright guys, next time, I'll see you then.